look here. Yeah, there he is. Mark on my hunter mate. See where that is, how far out it is. Oh, okay, so you'd actually cross down to the other end. Well, I'm going to drop a little scent. Give him a holler. See if we can talk him in. My pal Hawkeye took his, his very first animal officially playing the game the other night, and it was an elk. He, we took him basically right over here. Really a pretty one, too. Slip up here. I think I've only ever taken one that was bigger than that. I, I caught a 319 one day. But I think actually what I'm going to do is go prone and creep up a little bit. Another white-tailed doe getting in the way of the hunt. Just creep on up where we can get eyeballs on him. That was my last one there. Got some, got a fresh bottle back at camp, but. Come on over here and see me. I'm just not willing to take a shot at that kind of range. He's quite a ways out there. Let's see what his range actually is. The longbow, if, if they've done the dynamics of the longbow uh, traditionally, it has a real strong fallout after uh, 20 yards. Real strong fall off after 20 yards, so I want to just get him in closer. I noticed the elk seemed to be a bit more leery than they used to when I first started playing the game. I don't know if they've made an adjustment to their AI or it's just circumstances. There, he's coming to us. Don't have a lot of confidence in my shot here, be or is that a, can't tell now, is that a female or is that him? I think we actually got a female coming in. No, that's him. All right. I should have marked 20 yards. I hit him. Don't know where I hit him, but I hit him. As far as he's running, I got a feeling I didn't hit him very well. Now, let's ease up, check and see. Like I say, it's going to take me some time getting used to uh, ranges and, and the gap on this. I've got to shoot the gap enough to get my instinct going. Okay, I hit him in the body. Let's back off so we can find out where this other one is. But... Oh, he's right there. Goodness. All right, I'm not messing around with losing another one, so I'm going to switch over to this guy. See what kind of range we're at here. Right, dead on 40, huh? All right. Come on in a little closer, bud. Drop you. Well, Al, I just don't want to be tracking two animals with the... Uh, Like I say, I, I just don't want to be tracking two animals at the same time. But yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the brothers, and there was the one that was in earlier. All right, well let's go over and collect this guy. But you can see that pocket shot does the job. Every one of these I've taken with the pocket, shooting the pocket. If you know what I'm talking about, just. Check my aim and my, my videos and you'll find an aiming tutorial for shooting the pocket. You're 
pretty fella, only a 73. I figured he was he was pretty small. Pop that real quick. So the one that originally uh, scockered on us, the one that that took off, he came back in from that side. So that's all right. Let's go over here see if we can pick up the blood trail on this fella over here. Turn back. Where was it here? Our first mark. I think it was right over here. Well, we got to get on that one I hit with the longbow and track him. You can see with the compound, it's it's a uh, it's a pretty straightforward shot. Oakville Oak fleeing, so that's not him. In fact, I think that that's actually uh, the one that just ran off. So let's see if we can pick up the trail on that one. I think this is it right down here. But uh, we'll track him and see what the situation is. It was a body shot. It wasn't uh, a heart-lung shot, unfortunately. Like I say, I'm just not used to longbow yet. And it means I'm going to make some less-than-stellar shots for a little while. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. I think that was that doe that just ran off. But that was definitely the five brothers. No doubt about it. Look at all these tracks. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, the five brothers are uh, a group of five elk, ranging in size from from some very small to some very big. And if you catch them just right and you're using the compound bow, a lot of times you can... Uh, a lot of times you can get them all five of them. It's pretty cool. Is this my guy here? I don't think it is. The heck. I don't think that's the guy I hit. Check this. It's a new trail. If this is the one that I hit, I didn't hit him very good because we've already lost the blood trail. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the smaller of them. Is she melanistic? I think we got a melanistic female up there. Maybe piebald? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. There's one female there. And another one right over here somewhere. And even though I've got a quest to uh, harvest four female elk all within the same hunt, I just don't know if If I want to shoot these girls or not, it just it feels funny to me, you know. And I'll tell you what, I think our fella changed directions on us. I do, I do. As you can see with this obnoxious pink, they really show up. I've got a feeling he broke left. Oh, there you go, yep. Unless this is an, in an incoming track, but I don't think so.
call from female. And he took a sharp turn, huh? I don't know if I buy that, but we'll see. I got a feeling he's a lot close. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. He turned to look at them females. So he was probably right over here when I was down the hill there. Looking at the uh, herd of cows. Yeah, not the most magnificent shot ever. But of course, like I say, very first time ever in game or in real life that I've tried to take an animal with the longbow. Longbow training is for battle, not for Hmm. Ah, okay, he's he's on top of his original incoming track. That's not good. This is gonna get really confusing here. Yep, he's circling back. Hmm. So this is one of our original tracks we tracked. This is one of our original tracks we tracked, so I think it's actually going to be this one up here because I don't remember a blood mark right on, on the downhill side. We're going to find him. I cannot, in good conscience, leave a wounded animal out like this, so... Not gonna give up. It is my responsibility to find this animal. I don't know how many times real world hunting I've been out and about and come across an animal that was hit bad and some jackass just let him go. A sign to be seen. He had to have made a sudden direction change or have died somewhere right in here. You know, you get these idiots who are convinced that the headshot is the best shot. And yes, I'll call you to your face, a bunch of freaking idiots. Do you have the slightest idea how horrible a death it is? If you shoot poorly and break a deer's jaw or blast off one of his horns or hit him back behind the brain and tear up the back of his skull, anyone who does not take the heart-lung region shot is risking a slow, horrible death for that animal. Oh, by golly. I think I do believe my friends unless he's sleeping I believe that's our guy right there yeah it's not uh, giving us an info window he's down that's our fella now I can see where I hit him because I know what I was aiming at and and what I hit in comparison to what I was aiming at is going to tell me so much about aiming with this weapon. Like I say, all my longbow training is for shooting people, not for shooting animals. So this shall be interesting. Wow, bud, that's a set of horns. Holy cow, look at that. 
One, two, three, four. He has got just a crazy rack. Let's look at him. A 230, not too shabby. And it's not going to show us where the arrow hit, huh? All right, well, let's see if we can find it. Well, you know, actually, I was at the height that I shot, but I actually was off to the right. Well, let's uh, see if we can get us a nice trophy shot here. Uh, there you go, guys. My first one taken with the longbow. I'm just going to go with that and call it good. Uh, there you go. My very first animal taken with the longbow. In real life or in game. I've shot many, many hours with the longbow. But it is all long range combat archery. And that's actually where my curiosity is. Is I'd like to uh, head back down towards the camp real quick. And... Um, get at a certain range and just take a couple of shots with this longbow like I would if I was if I was doing actual formation battle archery and because that'll tell me whether or not this longbow is an accurate representation of an English longbow so a classic English longbow would put that right there wow by golly look at that You know what? I think this really does honestly shoot like a longbow. I'm shooting at the uh, moose back behind the bear, in case you guys are wondering what I'm shooting at here. Let's, I'll shoot at the bear so that we can actually see where the arrows are landing here. Except that one I was way off in my release. Hmm. Get my feeling here. I think I'm hitting just a touch low. You know, this is, is turning out to be a fairly accurate... Yeah, by golly! It is turning out to be a fairly accurate representation... Really? Holy cow, dudes. This is... This aims just like a classic... Wow. How did they manage that? I mean, look, this is... I just assumed it would be different. I mean, I mean, you know, that's, that's a really difficult... Really difficult thing to pull off. Shot the moose in the nose. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This is a pretty sound representation of an English longbow. I just assumed, you know, that it would have a funny sight window because of the game dynamics. But, by golly. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Color me impressed. I'm instinct shooting this the same way I would if it was a real English longbow, and there's no doubt about it. It aims the same. Wow. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, I'm pleased to say my new longbow is quite very accurate. A representation of an English longbow and it's aiming in the fashion that an English longbow should. And it means that all this practicing I thought I was going to have to do is not so. Heart shot. Wow. Okay, guys. I guess I'm going to start longbow hunting because I'm just flabbergasted. I am utterly flabbergasted putting it right where I want it. 
That one I was off, but that was me making a mistake. Not any issue with the bow. Yep. So it does drop off just a little bit sooner than than a classic English longbow does, but I mean just a little bit sooner. So I'll have to make some minor adjustments once we're out to that kind of range there, but <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I'm impressed. Wow. I just assumed it would be it would be ridiculous to try to to aim with it like like you would in in combat archery, but by golly, I think that says says it all, huh? Son of gun. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me, Kachi, for the very first of the animals I have taken with the English with the longbow in the game. And for joining me during my discovery that it aims just like a true English longbow. I am so startled by this fact. I mean, that's why I was trying everything but aiming it in the way that I, that I would. I mean, wow. Absolutely amazing me. All right, well, I got a lot of editing to do to get this down to 20 minutes. But I'll tell you what, I am impressed. Wow. I am just amazed. Huh. Wow. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Remember, if you're going to be a bear, be a good grizzly. I'm out.